Hello Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. So Cancer, we're going to take a look at Mercury Retrograde, which begins on April 1st to the 24th. We are in the um, pre-shadow period, and the post-shadow period will last until at least the second week of March, approximately. Um, I've researched some things on retrograde. It's retrograding in the sign of Aries. Um... Of course, communication, travel is always an issue when it comes to the retrograde. Um, also, it's important to avoid making any type of hasty decisions. Make sure that you think it through thoroughly. You pray about it. Um, definitely trust your intuition. And um, for some of you, you may have issues with your identity. Um, you may feel like you need to switch things up a bit when it comes to your appearance. You may have a glow, a glow up. Um, for some of you, you're definitely um, going to be revisiting like old passions. I feel like your career and marriage, your relationships is definitely going to be center focus for some of you. Um, I'm also getting old jobs. That's what Spirit gave me. Um, communication when it comes to marriage, your relationship. Make sure that you're not dwelling on um, issues of the past. And of course, as always, we have people from our past that um, show back up for some of us. And karma. Karma is definitely going to be playing out as well. Good or bad and different. So let's tap in and see what Spirit wants you to know. Spirit, give me some messages for Cancer. What is the energy? Mercury retrograde messages for Cancer. What is the energy? I have self-care. Bottom of the deck. I have... You are stronger than you know. Okay. For some of you, like I said, you may be going like through a transformation when it comes to your appearance. This could be something you're thinking about heavily during the retrograde. Could just be wanting to spend a lot of time alone to yourself, really taking care of you, mind, body, soul, spirit. Um, could be increasing your consciousness. I'm hearing a certain level of consciousness. For some of you, you could be raising your vibration, eating differently. For some of you, you could be um, eating more green. Somebody's like a lover of grapes. Somebody's like favorite um, fruit is grapes. Three of Pentacles. I'm hearing workaholic. Make sure you're not overworking. Um, give me another energy for self-care. The Ten of Pentacles. Heavy Earth energy. Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here for Cancer? What is the message? Why is the Three of Pentacles here for Cancer? The Fool. Some of you are about to take a leap of faith. That's about to pay off like hugely. I feel like this is definitely tied to your destiny. I feel as if this is going to create generational wealth. Building blocks. That's what I'm hearing. You can have Aquarius highly aspected. Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? The Queen of Cups. Cancer, your energy. Tell me more about the Fool. Why is the Fool here for Cancer? What is the energy? Why is the Fool here for Cancer? The Hermit in the Reverse. Somebody may not be making um, a very wise decision when it comes to taking a leap of faith. Somebody could be deciding to commit to a Queen of Wands energy. This is giving me third party. Somebody could be making a horrible choice when it comes to love, relationship. Give me another energy for the Fool. Why is the fool here? Somebody can have Virgo highly aspected. Why is the fool here? The star. Common sense. Somebody don't have any common sense. Have you on the Aquarius energy? <laughs> Somebody lacks common sense. That's what I'm getting. Tell me more about this star energy. Why is the star here? The four swords. So somebody's going to be really stressed out. I feel like something's going to send like shockwaves through someone. I'm hearing anaphylactic shock. 
that could be significant for someone. Give me an energy for the star. Why is the star here for Cancer? What is the energy spirit? Why is the star here? What is the message? Two of one. Yeah, like somebody thought something was a part of their destiny, thought that they were moving in the right direction, but they weren't. Somebody has like no common sense. Somebody makes bad choices. Give me an energy for the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here for Cancer? What is the message? The devil. Oh, somebody car somebody toxic. Somebody could be dealing with a toxic cancer. Somebody real toxic. Capricorn energy. This is definitely North Node, South Node energy. So yeah, somebody's definitely in their South Node completely. Um, give me an energy for the Queen of Cups. Somebody could have chosen a partner with this person, try to build a life with this person, but yeah, it wasn't a good decision. It was the wrong choice, and now this person is stressed out. I have the Eight of Swords. Somebody feels stuck. They feel trapped with the Karmic, Ace of Swords. Um, somebody believed a lie. I mean, that's just what it is. Somebody believed a lie. Um, for some of you, too, something could have to do with some type of binding, with spiritual manipulation as well. Give me an energy for the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here for Cancer? What is the message? Oh, yeah. Somebody plays a spiritual work. The High Priestess in the reverse, Pisces energy. Somebody could be into like the dark occult. For some of you, oh wow. So this person tried to alter your destiny or this could have happened to somebody that's energetically tied to you, Cancer. Somebody tried to alter someone's destiny here. That's what this is, to keep someone stuck on the wrong path. This is like a very low vibrational energy. This is somebody who's very dark somebody tried to influence a person's decision making somebody wanted to like mind control somebody wanted using mind control tactics whether this is somebody that's just very manipulative with their words a compulsive liar or somebody that actually plays in dark spiritual manipulation I'm hearing higher ups. This is somebody that could call on other gods as well. With this three of pentacles being here. Somebody's very dark. Give me an energy for the ten of pentacles. Why is the ten of pentacles here for cancer? What is the energy? Why is the ten of pentacles here for cancer? The nine of cups. Overindulgence, Eight of Wands, Death, and the Seven of Cups. This person um, plays in some dark energy. This is somebody that places things on multiple people as well. For some of you, this could be somebody in your very own family that does this. Give me an energy for the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Why is the Nine of Cups in the reverse here for Cancer? I have the Ace of Wands and Justice. Somebody's receiving karma. <laughs> That's what this is. Retrograde is bringing out karma for this person. Yes. Somebody's getting a new cycle and they are not going to be happy. Somebody's going to be miserable with this karma they are getting ready to receive. Somebody's going to get nothing but bad news. Going to go through multiple endings. Like shockwaves. Like this person is not going to know what to do. Multiple things are going to be coming at this masculine or feminine energy at once. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Cancer? What's the energy? Leave more energy on Justice. Now give me something for Justice. Why is Justice here for Cancer? What is the message? Why is Justice here for Cancer? The King of Pentacles. Wow. This person's going to lose it all. Somebody's going to lose everything. This could be someone's ex. Somebody's ex-spouse. Give me an energy for the Eight of Wands. The Ten of Swords in the reverse. Tell me more. About the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Cancer? What's the message? 
Why is the Eight of Wands here for Cancer? What is the energy? Five of Wands, why judgment? This person is not going to be able to overcome whatever this is. It's going to be very challenging. It's going to be a constant cycle of like horrible endings in this person's life. Somebody's going to be ultimately defeated. Like this is going to be some horrible karma. I'm telling you, it's like one thing after another, after another, like every single day or almost every single day, like somebody tried to like change your destiny or change somebody else's destiny that is connected to you. And now this person's destiny, this person's fate is being changed. Give me an energy for the five of wands, two of cups. So somebody's relationship is going to be ending. Somebody's going to be walked away from like again, King. Of, oh, wow. Somebody's getting a divorce. Somebody's marriage is going to be over. That's a part of somebody's karma. For some of you, it was a very combative relationship anyway. I feel like who's walking away, this is somebody who don't want to fight anymore. They don't want to argue anymore when it comes to this partnership. It was very stressful. Give me an energy for death. This person's going to go through multiple changes at once. Give me an energy for death. The Six of Wands, popularity. I feel like that's ending. Somebody's reputation is going to be ruined. This is the end of somebody being head, held to a certain caliber on their high horse, so to speak. That's the end of that. Somebody's going to experience a downgrade when it comes to how people view them, their public image. Something has to do with online, social media, the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's going to be broke. They're losing a lot of money. I feel like somebody's finances, their resources is tied to their reputation. So that's going to be part of the issue for this person because they're going broke. They're not going to have anything or barely much. That's why their, their reputation is going to be affected negatively. Because people view this person in a certain light because of what they have, what they hold when it comes to the material and that's going away. Give me an energy for the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here for Cancer? What is the energy? I have the Ten of Cups, King of Wands, Three of Cups in the Reverse, Magician in the Reverse, Virgo, Gemini Energy. For some of you, this is a third party energy that is being released. Somebody's being let go of. Again, somebody's a master manipulator, but the manipulation will no longer work. Whatever spiritual work somebody has been doing or lies, deceit, somebody has been taking part in, that's over. It don't work. Somebody wanted control. Somebody wanted to play God, but it no longer works. Somebody does way too much. For some of you, somebody could have done this manipulation to make somebody reconcile with them, but that's over. That's done with. Whoever this King of Wands energy is, is going towards his Ten of Cups. It's going towards his wish fulfillment and is dropping this bad habit I'm getting. So for some of you, this could have been a situation where it was hard for this masculine energy to let this person go. It could have been a back and forth situation. You know, these people just couldn't leave each other alone, but it had a lot to do with the manipulation. For some of you, the energy work. Give me an energy for the high priestess in the reverse. Why is the high priestess in the reverse here for cancer? What is the energy? Why is the high priestess in the reverse here? The four of cups. I'm hearing like accept offerings. Somebody could have been making offerings. Somebody wanted this person um, to accept them, receive them, to continue to go back to them. Something also has to do with self-acceptance as well for someone. Something could have to do with beauty. This person could have been um, doing some manipulation in order to be perceived in a certain light. For some of you, whatever this manipulation is, it made this masculine energy defensive against you. Um, Libra Taurus energy on the Empress because of some lies. Somebody told lies on you here. Cancer, I feel like you're representing this Empress. Or Cancer, you told a lie when it comes to this Empress energy. We do have the Queen of Cups out here. But somebody did something irrational, never thinking it was going to catch up to them. But yeah, now the tables are turning and now it's time to... Pay the Piper. 
Give me some energy for self-care. Why is self-care here for cancer? What's the energy? Why is self-care here? Mercury retrograde messages. Why is self-care here for cancer? The king of cups. Somebody's finally doing what makes them happy. That's what this is. Somebody's going in a direction that is going to lead to their emotional fulfillment. Somebody's no longer caring about this person, this third party, this ex, this ex-spouse. What other people think, family, friends. Somebody's living for them. Or you're deciding to live for you. Give me an energy for you are stronger than you know. Why is you are stronger than you know here for cancer? What's the energy? Why is you are stronger than you know here for cancer? The, uh, I'm done. The Empress, the Libra Taurus energy. I feel like for some of you, there was a lot of manipulation done on you, Cancer. And you had to overcome whatever this person was throwing at you, whether it was spiritual work, whether it was words, lies. You had to overcome this. For some of you both, Somebody put you in a spiritual battle here for someone and you were able to press forward. You were able to work through it with the guidance of the most high. I'm hearing test. So I feel like this was, thank you spirit. So whatever this person did, cause you know, nothing happens without God allowing it. I feel like God allowed this to put you through a test because regardless of what this person did, it's, led you towards an upgrade, spiritual upgrade, uh, an awakening, another spiritual awakening. So whatever somebody meant for your bad, spirit turned it around and used it for your good. Give me a final message for Cancer Spirit. Give me a final message for Cancer. What's the energy? So it's like your life is coming together and somebody else's life is falling apart. I can't make not nine of swords to the six of wands. Your life is coming together. Thank you, spirit. Confirmation. Your life is coming together. Six of wands. You're about to be put on a pedestal. Very successful. You're about to get the recognition, the love, the accolades that you deserve. And somebody else is stressed out about this. For some of you, that's why this started. Because of the attention you got, where you sat. Because you're the empress. Somebody was jealous hearted. And did not want you to receive what was meant for you. This person going to have to watch this, going to have to watch you live in the six of wands energy, going to have to watch your success, your glow up. Thank you, spirit. As they're in the nine of swords, part of this nine of swords is going to be the fact that they're watching you succeed this energy, masculine or feminine. And the other part of this nine of swords is going to be what they have to go through, what they have to endure. So while their life is on a downward spiral, somebody's watching you have a major upgrade. And it's going to stress this person out. And then I'm hearing nothing works. So for some of you, this person kept doing things, but nothing works. And this person didn't understand why, because you're protected, you're anointed. It didn't work, or at least it didn't work how this person wanted it to. Because like I said, it just pushed you towards a spiritual upgrade. You elevate it. Let's pull one more energy. Spirit, give me one more message for cancer. Self-love. Self-discipline. Keep your word to yourself. Fall in love with how you feel when you are taking care of you. Yet you love yourself. And it shows. And, and that's part of the reason why this person didn't like you. Because this person lacks self-love. Because if this person really loved his or herself... Who would do that? Who would try to destroy another person? If you really love yourself. You understand what I'm saying, Cancer? If you operate with love, who would do that? 
Because you wouldn't want that done to you. But because this person operates in a hateful energy, he or she don't care. And again, going back to this masculine, this is somebody that's choosing them as well. In this season. Everything is a choice. And that's what this person is going to see. And as this masculine and feminine energy go through their karma, they're going to be learning major life lessons. And hopefully the most important lesson about loving self, giving to self, pouring into self. When you pour into yourself, you truly love yourself. You don't have time to be envious of other people. You celebrate other people. Just like you would want someone to celebrate you. That's what this person is going to see. Or that's what it's designed to make this person see. But again, we all have free will. We see what we want to see. So this is your reading. Take what resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.